Well, this is my portable smoker, and although it's small, it's more than big enough for, for my needs. But basically how this smoker works, you've got your smoking pan here, and you line the base of the smoking pan with your oak shavings or your oak dust or whatever wood you're using. I've got oak. And to aid cleaning, the manufacturer suggests what you can do is actually put a layer of aluminium foil at the base and put your shavings on that and that helps to clean it later. So once we've got our shavings on the base what goes on then is got a drip tray and then on top of the drip tray is the first rack to lay the fillets on and then on top of that is another rack to lay some more fillets on and then a lid slides over the top and when it when it's actually smoking the lid stays fully closed now this is the burner and it's got this little gadget here and the idea is that you fill that up to the brim with methylated spirits light it and then pop your smoker pop your smoker on top now as regards time to smoke the fish, what I found in the past, I, I, I do it by sight, I just check it occasionally, rather than saying that you smoke it for X amount of minutes. I found that doesn't work. It's, sometimes it takes longer than, than what they say, but basically it's usually about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes for mackerel fillets, once it's actually, the smoking has actually got going. So what I do, I just check it occasionally and just see what it looks like and, and go by sight to see, see whether the fish is done and that's worked for me in the past. Right, well we're indoors and obviously I'm not going to do that this indoors so we'll get all the fillets ready, get it all set up and get out to the shed and, and get this smoking going. We've got three lovely mackerel there that I've kept back from a batch caught yesterday. They were cleaned, cleaned at sea and then kept in the fridge covered in cling film which keeps them nice and moist and helps to retain their colour and as you can see they still look absolutely beautiful. So we've just got to fillet these and then wash them and pat them dry and then once they're filleted we're just going to pop them in, the, in a dish and put a bit of salt over the top, some sea salt and just leave them for five minutes. And what that will do, that, that will just draw out a bit of, bit of the moisture before actually taking them to the, to the shed for smoking. Now for those of you that are fairly new to filleting fish, mackerel is probably one of the easiest fish to fillet. All you need is a good filleting knife, nice and nicely sharpened. So what we're going to do, we're going to start there and then cut back towards the head, towards the gills, and then just turn the knife and then run it along the top of the bone right to the towel to take the fillet off. That's one side and then exactly the same the other side And that's the other beautiful fillet. Now what I do, you, you don't need to do this, but what I, what I do is actually trim the, the belly section there that, that contains most, most of the bones. There's a few bones down the <coughs> lateral line there, but I'm, I'm not particularly worried about that. Just trim the belly bit off, but these belly bits never get wasted. What I do is I keep them as trimmings, freeze them and use them as, as pot bait. I'll give those a wash and then a dry. Just 
just going to just carry on now and do the do exactly the same to the to the other two mackerel so we've got six beautiful fillets now i've got the, the fish filleted just need to draw a bit of the moisture out so what i've got here i've got a dish which i've put some sea salt on the base and then just going to lay the the fillets skin side down and then just sprinkle a little bit more sea salt over the top of each fillet and this only only needs to be left for a short time only about five minutes and that's enough just to draw a bit of the moisture out of the fillets otherwise they become just too too moist but once that's done after five minutes just going to gently take the the salt wash the fillets just to take a bit of excess salt off really good tip i picked up about washing excess the excess salt off and that is rather than run them under the tap again is just to get yourself a, a bowl of water like that and then just take each fillet and then just dip it in the water and that's it and that's all you need to do just to just to remove some of the salt these are going to be placed on the smoking rack skin side down so what I've done before taking them out for smoking I've just brushed the skin with just a little bit of olive oil just to make sure that, that they don't stick Okay, I've got the smoking pan lined with a thin layer of the wood shavings. So now it's in with the drip tray. And then our first rack of lovely fillets. On with the second rack. And then on with the lid so that's ready so now what I've got need to do is to fill up the the burner with the meths place that in the middle Try and light it. And then it's on with the smoking pan. just check these and they're done and don't they look absolutely fantastic and I just wish you could smell them they look deli look delicious and I can promise you they smell delicious so going to look forward to eating a few of these later so there it is the end result our lovely home smoked mackerel and we're going to have this as a starter a, a little first course very simply served with some good quality horseradish sauce and some homemade bread and I can promise you if you've never tried home smoked mackerel before it's absolutely delicious and far better than the smoked mackerel you can buy from the shops but of course mackerel is not the only fish you can smoke 
You can have a go at smoking any fish you like. Pollock, cod and, and also shellfish. Uh, mussels, I sometimes get wild mussels and they smoke well. And razor clams etc. Whatever you fancy. And you can pick up these little portable smokers, perfectly suitable for home use, from uh, good tackle shops, some of which supply them. So, as said, we're going to have this as a little first course, but for the main course, we're going to have that. And this is a lobster, a lovely lobster that I managed to pick up in one of the pots on the same day that I caught these mackerel. And what I'm hoping to do is in the catching and cooking fish and shellfish videos is show the, the cooking of this and this is going to be grilled. So look out for that video. So once again, I hope you found that useful. So it's bon appetit and many, many thanks for watching.